Hello, we have made it. We are on the 11th and final video solution to Super Quiz 2. This problem is all about classifying elements in rings as units, zero divisors, or maybe neither. So uh, we don't have so many rings yet in this class. We're looking at basically modular integers and integers, and I threw in a little thing about matrices. Uh, but, you know, in the future, of course, we're going to have a lot more rings, and we're still going to want to know how to figure out if something's a unit or a zero divisor or neither. So uh, the first three all have to do with modular integers. And uh, there's a nice rule which is, is very helpful right on the side, which is that um, so in Z mod NZ, uh, so the class of A is a unit if and only if the greatest common divisor of A and N is 1. And the class of A is a 0 divisor if and only if the GCD of A and N is greater than 1. So I can really quickly write down some answers here. So 18 and 7 are relatively prime. Therefore, I know that, uh, we'll see, relatively prime case, ah, it's a unit. Okay, uh, what about this next one? Negative 2 and 6. Well, those are definitely not relatively prime. All right, uh, 2 is a divisor of both negative 2 and 6. And so this is going to be a zero divisor. And then here, well, six and six, yeah, definitely not GCD equaling one, all right? So you might say, okay, so this is going to be a zero divisor. But you might also say, well, boo, isn't this zero? Does zero, uh, it, can that be a zero divisor? Yeah, you betcha it can. You betcha it can. All right? In fact, well, one of the things about being a unit, right, what, what did that mean that you are a unit? That means that you have some sort of an inverse, right? Now, can we work it out here? Well, I guess it might be easier if we reduce 18 mod 7, right? So mod 7, this is congruent or equal, actually, as a class uh, to the class of 4. So can we find something to multiply 4 by to get 1? Right? And remember, we're working modulo 7. And it's not hard to see that if you multiply by 2, you get the class of 8, which mod 7 is the same as the class of 1. Right? So 4 and 2, those classes are, are inverses of each other, and so they're both units. All right. Well, how about uh, zero divisors? Well, remember, to be a zero divisor, you need to be able to find something to multiply by, which is not the zero, right? You do not want to multiply by zero, but you want the outcome of that product to be zero. So in this case, well, if I take the class of negative two, well, what if I multiply by the class of negative three? Neither of these is the zero class, but their product is six, which is equal to zero. All right, so I found, right, they really are zero divisors. And how about 6? Well, we know that 6 is equal to the class of 0. And so there's this issue. Is 0 a 0 divisor? And yeah, we our definition we, we gave makes it 1 because we can multiply it by something not 0, like say 1, and we get 0 out. All right. Um, but this is a convention thing, right? Our definition made it a zero divisor. You could also try to define zero divisor so that it can't be zero from the from the beginning, right? That's that's just a convention. Okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, we're switching from modular integers now to the integers, and in the integers, right? It's a different story, right? There's no n to be worry about, right? In terms of z mod n z, the integers there's only two units, right? plus minus one, right? This, this is equal to the set of units, right? So u of z, right? This will be the units in z. That's it, that's the whole set. Um, so negative one, that's in there, right? It's a unit, right? How do I know? Well, I can multiply negative one by itself 
and that gives me one. What about four? Well, four is definitely not a unit. It's not in the set. Now, what about zero divisors? Well, the integers are what are called an integral domain. Z has no zero divisors. So four is not a unit, but it's also not a zero divisor. So this is a neither. Okay, and then finally, we have this example from the ring of two by two matrices with coefficients in the real numbers. You have this matrix one, zero, zero, zero. And we wanna know whether it's a unit or a zero divisor, or maybe it's neither, right? Well, if you know a little bit of linear algebra, you'll say, well, it can't be a unit because the determinant of one, zero, zero, zero is equal to zero. And so that's going to tell you that one, zero, zero, zero is not invertible. So it does not have a, an inverse, so it's not a unit. Uh, on the other hand, some very basic matrix multiplication, you'll see very quickly, right? If I multiply by 0, 0, 0, 1, this does give me the zero matrix. So in fact, I have a zero divisor. Whew, all right, we made it through. We'll see you next time, everyone.